All right, how's everybody doing this evening? Back again with another video for you guys and gals. And tonight, what I have for everyone is my full review of the Lumi Sport True Wireless Bluetooth Earbuds. Now, I've been using these bad boys for a good amount of time, and I feel like I've gathered all my thoughts and opinions and everything that I want to cover with you guys and gals. So without further ado, let's jump into this full review, and hopefully by the end of this video, you guys and gals will know if these earbuds are something that's worth picking up. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, starting off, the first thing I want to talk about with you guys and gals is the overall build quality and design of the earbuds themselves. Now, build quality wise, I have to say these earbuds are really, really good. Now, they're built primarily out of plastic, okay? But they do have some very tactile and clicky buttons on them, as y'all can hear. Really responsive, very tactile, very clicky. And because of their barrel materials, they're very lightweight and extremely durable. So to me, in terms of the overall build quality, I have to say these earbuds are top notch. Okay, talking about the overall design of the earbuds now, as I've said before in a, in a lot of my other previous videos, I am a big fan of this earbud style with the ear hooks. I feel like this is perfect for workouts or casual listening sessions. So I am a big fan of this overall design. So in terms of the overall build quality and design of the earbuds themselves, I have to say it is top notch in my opinion. All right, now let's keep it moving. Now let's briefly go over the core features of these earbuds. Core feature number one, and probably the most important one to me, in my opinion, is these bad boys incorporate Bluetooth 5.0 on board that's right so you can indeed live the hashtag wireless lifestyle and that's something that's i've really been trying to dive a lot more into i really don't like to fight with cables or anything like that so truly wireless earbuds or headphones in my opinion is the way to go so the fact that these bad boys incorporate some of the latest and greatest bluetooth bluetooth technology on board sorry y'all know i can't talk that's really a solid core feature in my opinion. Core feature number two, these bad boys incorporate IPX5, sweat and water resistance, which makes them perfect for workouts or if you accidentally caught get or if you accidentally get caught in the occasional shower, you should be good to go. All right? So that IP rating, that's a really nice touch. All right? Core feature number three, these bad boys incorporate de uh, dedicated microphones on either earbud and the microphone performance on the spoiler is top notch in my opinion. We're gonna dive into that a little bit more later on in the video, but we do have dedicated microphones on either of the earbuds. So really nice to see that. And the last core feature that I wanna bring up here is that these bad boys have some of the easiest pairing steps that I've ever come across on a Bluetooth compatible device and not only that but you can use them in stereo mode and or you could e use each individual earbud independently of the other so that's a really nice feature in my opinion and that pretty much goes over the core features y'all so let's keep it moving up next now I want to just go over the overall sound quality, the volume, and the bass, or lack thereof. Now, talking about the overall sound quality, I have to say these earbuds are really, really good from that aspect, okay? There is no distortion on the low or the high ends of the volume spectrum, so that's really good. Now, talking about the overall volume, these bad boys get extremely loud. So much so, I could not listen to them at max volume for extended sessions. Now, to put that into perspective for y'all, and we're going to touch on this a little bit more later on, I tested these bad boys at 25% volume and 50% volume, respectively, okay? And to me, in terms of the overall volume on these, it is top notch they get extremely loud you can easily drown out your surroundings or get sucked into whatever you're trying to watch or listening to listen to listening to or listen to <laughs> my bad y'all 
talking is hard y'all know this all right so the overall sound quality and volume on these is top notch in my opinion that being said we're going to come to now the first downside of these earbuds and that is when we talk about the bass now in my opinion the bass on these is almost non-existent i would have liked to have seen a lot better bass coming out of these but for what they are i'm okay with that now that doesn't mean that i'm you know giving them a pass because there are a lot of other earbuds in this class that do produce a good bass but primarily what i picked these up for was workouts and i'm okay with not having bass for my workouts at least in my opinion when i'm working out i just want volume clarity with no distortion so i'm okay with not having bass on these but it is a negative nonetheless all right so that covers the overall sound quality the volume and the bass now let's move on and talk about the microphone quality on these all right now the microphone quality on these bad boys is top notch in my opinion i've used them to do just about everything that you can do with a bluetooth pair of earbuds so dictating text messages dictating emails taking phone calls um interacting with my devices using voice commands or my voice assistant and the microphone on these is top notch in my opinion and when i use them for phone calls callers really couldn't tell the difference between my onboard receiver on my phone or the microphones on the earphones so to me the microphone quality on these is top notch in my opinion all right so really good stuff there now what i want to do is i want to briefly go over the pairing steps with you guys and gals and go over the onboard button controls on the earbuds themselves all right so the first thing I want to mention is that these steps that I'm getting ready to go over are universal and they'll work across all of the various operating systems that are available out there today. So Android, iOS, and or Windows, they'll all work no problem. The only difference is they may look a little different depending on the operating system that you're using. That being said, if you guys and gals follow along with these steps, you should be able to get these earbuds connected up to whatever device you have. As long as it supports Bluetooth, these steps will work. So let's get started. So this evening, what I'm gonna be demoing on for you guys and gals is an Android device. But before we can get to what you do on your device, the first thing we need to do is over on the earbuds, we need to decide whether or not we want to use them in stereo mode or if we want to use them one earbud at a time. Now, we're, we are going to demonstrate these steps in stereo mode today, this evening, but it's pretty much the same regardless of whether you're using one at a time or you're using them both together. So the first thing you need to do is power on the earbuds by clicking the multifunction button here on the side. They'll go directly into pairing mode. They'll pair up with each other and then you'll see one flashing LED, which indicates that they are in pairing mode. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is press and hold to get them to power on. Now you'll get an audible tone and then you'll get your flashing LED. So let's go. Okay. And they're, now they're connected to each other and now we're ready to go. Now, <clears throat> the earbuds are ready. Okay, now, over on your smart device, as I said, we're using Android today. You want to turn on your display and then you want to navigate to your Bluetooth settings. So what we're going to do here is we're going to swipe down. We're going to tap once to turn on the Bluetooth. Okay, so the Bluetooth is on, as you can see right there. Then we're going to press and hold to take you into the Bluetooth settings. Bam. And then right here, you want to click on this option right here. So where it says pair a new device right there. Now I apologize for the focus y'all, but you just want to tap on that right at the top. It's going to take you into the uh, Bluetooth sub settings here. And then you want to look for that model number right there where it says Q9. You want to tap on that. And that's going to begin the pairing process. And once it's paired up, you're going to see the battery percentage right there. And you're going to get a little active indicator 
right alongside that, right? And you'll also get an audible tone on the earbuds themselves, letting you know that everything is paired up successfully, all right? Also, on your smart device, if we swipe down, you can see in the settings here, we do get the model of the earbuds underneath the Bluetooth indicator, as well as the battery percentage in your notification shade. So now the earbuds are fully connected to your device and ready to be used, all right? And those steps will work across all of your smart devices. So whether you have a tablet, laptop, desktop, smartphone, you name it, as long as it has Bluetooth connectivity on board, it will work, all right? So now what I wanna do is I wanna go over the button controls on the earbuds with you guys and gals, okay? So to do that, the first thing we're going to cover is the music controls. Now, in order to take advantage of music controls, you do need to have music active. So what I have here is we got some copyright free music pulled up right here. And what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna push play on it and we're gonna put the earbuds in and I'm gonna go over the button controls on the earbuds. All right, so here we go. Let me leave this in the field of view so y'all can see it. So we'll rest this right here. All right, let me put the earbuds in. All right. Okay. So now it's playing and y'all can see that it's playing. Now let's go over the music controls. Now with the music controls, the primary multifunction button on the side, that works for play and pause. And that will work on either the right earbud and or the left earbud. So if we wanna pause the music, we just gotta tap on that one time, like so. Pauses the music. Now, if we tap on it again, it will play the music. Boom. And we're playing the music. Now, if we want to go to the next track, we gotta hit the volume down button on the earbuds themselves to go to the next track. If we wanna go to the previous track, we gotta hit the volume up button on the earbuds to go to the previous track. So one tap to go to the next track on the volume down, like so. Okay, just like that. And one tap on the volume up to go to the previous track, like so. All right, bam. Just like that, and we go back to the previous track. So if you tap the volume up button once, it will restart the track, like so. All right, and if you tap it again, it will go back to the previous track, okay? So that's your music controls. Now, if you want to adjust the volume on your headphones, you can do this by long pressing the volume down or volume up buttons on the earbuds, depending on which one you wanna do. So if we wanna max out the volume, we just have to long press the volume up button on the earbuds, like so. Let me max it out now. And you will get an audible tone letting you know that it is maxed out, like so. So let me show you again. Okay, I don't know how well y'all heard that. So we maxed out the volume. Now we can also uh, turn the volume down by long pressing the volume down button, okay? So we could turn it down and or we can max it out again. So let's max it back out. Okay, there you go. Now that, that gives you your volume controls straight from the earbud. Now what you can also do is if we double tap the volume down button, you can see the digital display for the volume on your device. So we could do that now. Bam, bam. And you see the digital readout for your volume and you can adjust it straight off your device. So let me do that one more time. Bam, bam, on the volume down and y'all can see that. Now, if we want to interact with our voice assistant, we just have to double tap, double tap the volume up button to interact with our voice assistant. So if we want to check the weather, if we want to check sports scores, if we want to do a, a voice dial for a phone call, so on and so forth, all we have to do is double press the volume up button to do so. So now let's check the weather. Let, let me show y'all how to do this. So double tap, one, two, all right. What's the weather like in Palm Bay today? All right, just like that. 
and it should come up. What's the weather like in Palm Bay today? So there was a little bit of a delay. Okay. Oh Lord, it actually tried to pull up all of my sentences. But y'all can see it actually does work. Let's try that one more time. All right. What's the weather like in Palm Bay today? <laughs> all right, so I'm not gonna say the word cause then all my devices are gonna get triggered, but somebody tripping this evening. But y'all get the general idea of how to activate the voice assistant and how you use the overall button controls. All right, so let's pause the music now. All right, now, this also works for your phone calls as well. So if you wanna answer a phone call, you just single tap the main multifunction button on the side to answer a phone call. If you want to end the phone call, you just simply tap that multifunction button on the side again to end the phone call, right? Now, if you want to redial a phone call, you double tap that multifunction button to redial a phone call. Now, I didn't see a way to reject the phone call when it's coming in. I didn't see that one in the user manual and playing around with that, I didn't get that to work. So in terms of phone controls, we just have end and answer, and then we have redial. And we already went over all of your other button controls on the AirBuds themselves. All right, so that pretty much goes over the pairing steps and the multifunction button controls. All right, let me take these out of my ears now and we'll keep it moving, okay? Put that back in the frame for y'all. Don't need my device in here no more. So let's take this out of the frame. And now let's keep it moving. Matter of fact, let me put this over here so it's not distracting me. And now let's keep it moving, y'all. So the next thing I want to cover with you guys and gals now is now I want to go over the Bluetooth range and the Bluetooth strength. Now in the user manual, on the box, on the website, on Amazon, the manufacturer quoted that this bad boy has a Bluetooth range of eight to 10 meters. So essentially 33 feet. And I found that with my testing, as long as I'm within that 33 foot range or 10 meter range, the Bluetooth range and strength on these earbuds is top notch. So as long as you're within that range, you're not gonna have any issues. So the overall range and strength is top notch in my opinion. All right, now next, the next thing I wanna talk about with y'all is the overall durability of these earbuds because you know your boy is out here being super clumsy so it is what it is and the durability of these things needs to be there especially with my hardcore usage style and this is where I have to say the durability on these is top notch now I've only dropped them about once or twice in my about week and a half of usage and y'all can see they still look and function as if brand new so the overall durability on these is top notch in my opinion. Now I do apologize because black does not show up well on camera, but y'all get what I'm saying. Now, just because I had a good experience with the durability doesn't mean that you guys and gals can pick these up and go all willy nilly with it. No, you still need to be careful, but if you accidentally drop them or if you're clumsy like myself, they're more likely to survive. So the overall durability on these, in my opinion, is top notch, all right? Now, I just wanna go over the overall charge times and the overall battery life. And I got a few things on the table that I wanna talk about with you guys and gals. Now, in terms of the ways that you charge these earbuds, you have two ways that you can charge these, okay? Now, you have a stand, with these little metal prongs on it that you line up with the holes on the earbuds themselves and everything is labeled. So when, when it's time to charge it, you just read the labels. So this is the right earbud that corresponds with the right, the right section here and you line it up and you drop it on. So I'm gonna try and do this for y'all in real time. 
so y'all can see what it looks like. So let's line this up together. And it drops right on, like so. And we're in business, okay? Just like that. And then you would do the same thing for the left. So let's go ahead and line this up as well. Again, dropping it on, making sure it's lined up with the metal uh, barrel connector that's sticking out. And it just drops on just like that. Now, when you wanna charge it, all you have to do is tap the button to begin the charging. And you can see it powers off and starts charging. And then you get this red LED that indicates that it is charging, all right? Now the uh, stand here that charges the earbuds, that lights up blue with two blue LEDs, okay? And just for reference, the stand here can charge each earbud two times before you have to recharge the stand. Now, if you don't wanna use the stand, you can also use the included barrel style connector to regular USB to charge up the earbuds, okay? So you can use the stand to charge up the earbuds or you can use the included cable to charge up the earbuds as well as when you need to charge the stand which charges via micro USB, not happy about that. They did also provide a nice high quality micro USB cable, okay? So I do like the fact that they included everything that you need to use these bad boys out of the box. So good stuff there. And this is how it's gonna look if you wanna charge them with the stand, or you can always plug in the included cable here to charge them up. Now, I'm more apt to use the stand to charge them because the length of the included charging cable is a little bit short in my opinion, okay? But I just wanted to go over that. Now, when the stand is, is dead or dying, it will flash with two red LEDs. This indicates that the stand battery is low and you need to plug it in, okay? Just wanna get that out the way. And the same thing goes for the earbuds themselves, but along with the earbuds low battery, you will get uh, two to four low battery notifications before they power off, all right? I just wanted to get that out the way up front. So now let's get into talking about the actual battery life on these or the actual charge times on these, and then we'll talk about the actual battery life last. So in the user manual, the manufacturer actually quoted that these should take about 60 hours to re 60 hours, 60 minutes to reach a full charge. Now with my particular testing, I found that that is entirely not true. Now with my dedicated testing, which is with fast chargers of all sorts, okay, I found that these bad boys take approximately two to two and a half hours to reach a full charge, all right? So if you drop the earbuds on the stand, right when you get that first or second low battery notification, they'll charge up in about two hours. If you let them drain to completely dead, then it will charge up in about two and a half hours. And the same thing goes for the stand. If you uh, charge up the stand right when you get that first flashing red LED, okay, it will charge up in about two hours. If you let it drain to completely dead, then you're looking at about two and a half hours to get the stand charged back up. So the overall charge times, in my opinion, uh, does need a little bit of work. But if you look at it, if you look at it, my bad y'all, in conjunction with the overall battery life that I'm getting ready to talk about, it's really not that bad, okay? So in terms of the overall charge times, I would have to say it does need a little work, but it's not that bad, all right? Now, let's go over the actual battery life on these. Now again, the manufacturer quoted online in the user manual and on Amazon and on the back of the box that these bad boys will give you about three to four hours of usage if you use them together. Now they didn't give me any quotes on if you use these bad boys separately, but again, I found that that number is entirely off the mark. Now for reference, when I use these earbuds, I tested them again at 25% volume and 50% volume respectively. Now on the low end of that spectrum, so 
at 25% volume, okay, I was actually able to get on average about 15 hours of battery life using them in stereo mode, okay? Now, on the high end of that uh, spectrum there, so using them at 50% volume, I was actually able to get 12 hours of usage with the earbuds using them in stereo mode. So to put that into perspective which for y'all, including the case, which again can charge up each earbud two times, on the low end, two times 12, that means I can get 24 hours of usage, okay? Keep in mind, my style of usage is mixed heavy usage, okay? So I just wanna throw that out there. So on the low end, I'm getting 24 hours. On the high end, which is 15 hours times two, I'm getting about 30 hours. And this is using the earbuds in stereo mode. So both of them together, okay? Now I do wanna point out that with extended usage, these earbuds are quite uncomfortable. So I found that I could only use them for about four, maybe five hours straight before I needed to take them off and give my ears a rest. So they do get quite uncomfortable, but they are pretty good for workouts, okay? I don't know anybody who's gonna work out for like four to five hours at a time. So you should be good to go if you're picking these up for workouts just like myself, okay? So. Now, that was in stereo mode. So once again, let me reiterate, I was getting 12 to 15 hours of usage just on the earbuds themselves, then incorporate, or incorporating the charging stand or charging case, because I mix those up. I was actually getting about 24 to 30 hours of usage on these. So that's really, really good in stereo mode. Now, if I use them one after the other, so in individual mode or independent mode, then I'm averaging a little bit more battery life. So right there, I'm averaging about 15 to 18 hours of overall usage. So once again, if we put that into perspective for y'all, so 15 times two, that's 30 hours, okay? And then 18 times two, that's like what? 36 hours, okay? so. Pretty good, pretty good overall battery life, in my opinion. Battery life on these is top notch. Now, I do have one gripe that I don't like about these, and that has to do with the charging mechanisms. So not only am I not a fan of the micro USB charging, but the barrel style proprietary connectors that they decided to use on these, what's gonna happen if these accidentally break and then I'm not able to charge the earbuds anymore? Now, I do understand I can use the included cable to charge this up, but again, what's gonna happen if this breaks, then I won't be able to charge up the earbuds, okay? So that's a negative for me. I would have liked to have seen uh, a wireless charging solution that does incorporate a barrel style connector, more like magnets, something like what I'm used to, a modern charging implementation for earbuds. Magnets would have been good to charge it up, or they could have had a dedicated um, micro USB port on the individual earbuds themselves. So if this breaks, I could still charge up the earbuds. And also to go along with that, I'm not happy with the fact that they used micro USB on these. Again, I would have liked to have seen USB type C, but if you think about the price that these are actually available for, that's, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. We're gonna talk about the price in a little bit. But that pretty much goes over the overall battery life and the overall charge times. In my opinion, it's really good, okay? Really good indeed. All right, now let's briefly summarize the positives and negatives of these Bluetooth earbuds. And then we're gonna wrap this video up. I'm gonna give y'all my final thoughts and an overall recommendation or two, all right? So, starting off with the positives. Again, this is basically a summarization. The overall build quality and design on these is top notch. The overall core feature set on these is top notch as well. The sound quality and the volume on these is top notch. We got really solid microphone performance. The pairing process on these is really easy and really straightforward. And again, I really do like the fact that I can use them in stereo mode or I can use each earbud independently of the other. So that's really, great, really nice. 
The overall range on these is really good and the overall durability on these is really good as well. And all of this is available for a really great price. Something that we're gonna talk about in a little bit here. So those are all really great positives in my opinion. Now, let's talk about some of the negatives on these. And really, there's only three. Again, as I said, I'm not a big fan of the barrel style connector that they decided to go with here. I don't really like that. In the long term, I'm wondering how well that's gonna hold up and what's gonna happen if that breaks. Also, another negative that you know I really don't like is the micro USB charging port. Would have loved to have seen USB type C. So that's a negative as well. And the last negative that I came across with these is the fact that they don't really have any bass. So although the volume is good, and the sound quality is good, the bass on these is severely lacking. So those are the three main negatives that I came across using these earbuds. That and the overall comfort level when I'm using these for extended listening sessions is not the best. So these do get quite uncomfortable with extended usage, all right? So again, let me reiterate those negatives. Uh, no bass on the earbuds, okay? I'm not a fan of the proprietary charging mechanisms or the micro USB, and they do get quite uncomfortable for extended listening sessions, okay? So those are all the main negatives that I came across in my time with these earbuds, all right? That being said, in my opinion, I feel as though the positives of these bad boys vastly outweigh the negatives, okay? But that pretty much summarizes the positives and negatives of these Bluetooth earbuds, all right? Now, Let's get into the final part of this video. Let's talk about the price and I'm gonna give y'all my final thoughts and an overall recommendation. So, as I said before in the unboxing, I was actually able to pick these bad boys up from Amazon for a really great price. I picked these bad boys up for about $19.99. Now, let's just make that easy and call it $20 after tax. I have the screenshot up in post so y'all can see exactly what I paid and that screenshot y'all see does include the taxes. So I was able to pick these bad boys up for $20, okay? And for $20, you guys and gals are probably wondering, can I recommend that you guys and gals go out there and pick these up? Well, if you're in the market for a truly wireless pair of earbuds with no cables, okay because you want something that you can use for workouts and you don't want to have to fight with any access cables then yes i can recommend that you guys and gals pick these up okay you're really going to enjoy these and in terms of using them for workouts i had no issues that being said if you're in the market for a truly wireless pair of earbuds that you're going to use for all around general usage and casual listening then no I would have to say you may want to pass on these. Again, although the uh, sound quality and the volume is good, it's really lacking in the bass, and that lack of bass does take away from the overall listening experience. So if you want to pick these up for casual usage, I would have to say no, you definitely want to look elsewhere when we're looking at these, okay? That, and they do get quite uncomfortable with extended listening sessions. So they do have their upsides and I can recommend them, but they do have their downsides as well to where I can't recommend them. So it's all about what you, why or what are you picking up these earbuds for, okay? So I hope that made sense and I hope that was easy to understand, okay? So that being said, that pretty much does it for my full review of the Lumi Sports uh, Truly Wireless Bluetooth Earbuds, all right? If you guys and gals enjoyed this video and or you found it helpful in any way, shape, form, or fashion, please help your boy out and give the video a thumbs up. That really does help me out. You don't know how much. If you guys and gals would like to see more content like this, also feel free to hit the subscribe button down below and click off the notification bell icon right next to it so you guys and gals get notified when I publish new videos. That being said, if this video piqued your interest, all the links to where you guys and gals can pick these earbuds up at some really great prices will be available down below in the video description. So as always, if your interest is peaked 
down below in the video description will be like a one-stop shop for you guys and gals and you should be good to go. That also being said, this whole video here this evening was recorded using the rear-facing primary camera on the S7 Active in 720p resolution at 30 frames per second. So please let me know what you think of the overall video quality. And all the audio for this video here this evening was recorded using my lapel clip-on microphone. So please let me know what you think of the overall audio quality as well. As always, your feedback is greatly appreciated. All right? All right, I hope everyone has a great evening and I will catch you guys and gals in my next video. Peace, everyone. We out of here. Perfect.